hope you all great today we are going to continue chapter 4 section 2 so let's start quantum theory what's meant by quantum theory quantum theory is a theory that describes mathematical the wave properties of electrons and other very small particles. Heisenberg and certain principle, the early developer of quantum theory determined that wave function give only the probability of finding an electron at a given place around the nucleus. Electrons do not travel around the nucleus in a net orbit as Bohr had postulated instead they exist in a certain region called orbit. So quantum theory indicate what? In is a theory that describes the wave properties of electrons. By this theory, he discovered that Heisenberg discovered that that electrons do not travel around the nucleus in a net orbit like this, but electrons present in a region around the nucleus called orbitals, like this. So what's meant by orbital or electron cloud is a three-dimension region around the nucleus that indicate the property location of an electron like this. This is an orbital. So electron present in, a, in an orbital, not in energy level, in an orbital which is present inside energy level. Orbital or electron cloud is a three-dimension region. Region in, the, in space where there is 90% probability of finding an electron. So orbital, uh, uh, orbital 90% probability finding of the electron. Quantum number describe the atomic orbital. Electron in atomic orbital also have quantized energy. So electrons in orbital like this, let's imagine this an electron in an orbital has an energy. To describe orbital accurately or to know the location of electron how to know the address, ad, address of the electron inside the atom, we use a quantum number. We have a four quantum number to know the location. We have a four quantum number, sorry, four quantum number to know the location or the address of an electron. So quantum number are four numbers to specify the properties of atomic orbital and the properties of electron in orbital. Properties like what? Like we know the main energy level uh, the orbital is present in the shape of orbital, the number of orbital in a given energy level. For example, or let imagine that atom is a city. Is a city. Let imagine atom is a city. And the electrons are people who, li who live in the city. Energy level are a building. Inside energy level or inside the building, there are apartments, which is called energy sublevel. Inside the apartments, there are rooms. Rooms like uh, uh, is an orbital. So let's imagine atom is a city. Inside a city, there is an apartment. Apartment. Uh, uh, apartment. Inside the city, so there are a building. A building is an energy level. Inside energy le level, there are apartment like this, which is called sub energy sub level. Inside energy sub level or inside the apartment, there is an rooms. Rooms is an orbital where the people live in. So we have a four quantum number principal quantum number. Angular quant momentum quantum number, uh, number, magnetic quantum number, spin quantum number. Principal quantum number, simple by n. So, principal quantum number indicate what? Principal quantum number symbolized by n indicate the main energy level occupied by electron. I said that electron present in an orbital, orbital present in sublevel, sublevel present in energy level. So. Principal quantum number indicate energy, the main energy level. For example, when I said n equal one, so this is a first energy level, n equals three. Third energy level, n equal four. Fourth energy level. 
value of n are opposite integrals only 1 2 1 2 3 as n increase the electron energy and its over average uh, distance from the nucleus increase for example n equal 1 n equal 2 so when uh, when number of principal quantum number increase the distance from the nucleus will increase as n and second energy level it further from the nucleus than first energy level for example an electron uh, for which n equal 1 occupy the first energy level an electron whose n equal 2 will be found in the second energy level more than one electron can have the same n value these electrons are said to be in the same electron energy level total number of orbital in a given child or main energy level is equal to n power 2 is equal to n power 2 if I want if I want to know how many orbital how many orbital in an energy level we use equation n power 2 for example if n or energy level equal to so how many orbital in the second in this second energy level 2 power 2 equal 4 so we have here 4 orbitals in the second energy level for example second energy level n equal 2 number of orbital present in will be 2 power 2 equal 4 second quantum number angular momentum quantum number is a second quantum number called angular momentum quantum number simplified by l it, we use l to indicate or use L, uh, angular momentum quantum number to indicate what to indicate the shape of orbital or sub level to indicate sub levels i said that atom uh, 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 electron present in orbital orbital present in sub level sub level present in energy level so to know or to know the shape of orbital or to know the shape of sub level we use angular momentum quantum number which is symbolized by L. the number of sub level in a given energy level is equal to n is equal to n n equal 1 so when n equal 1 this is the first energy level we have one sub level l we have one sub level if n equal 2 we have two sub levels if n equal 3 we have three sub levels so l equal 2 l equal n n number of sub levels is equal to the n the value of n the value of l allowed are from 0 to n minus 1 for example this is very important for example if i said n equal 1 this is the first energy level to get the value of l we use 0 to n minus 1 0 to n minus 1 so when n equal 1, 1 minus 1 equals 0. So the answer will be 0. This is the value of L. So the, uh, we have 1 sub-level, 1 sub-level. But the value of this sub-level or the value of L equal 0. 0 symbolized by or 0 value. by s look at this table it's very important when l equal 0 this mean s sub level when l equal 1 this mean b sub level when n equal 2 d sub level when l equal 3 f sub level for example another example when i said n equal 2 this is a second energy level this mean we have two sub levels l value 2 two sub levels Top to get the value of l from 0 to n minus 1 so from 0 to n minus 1 to 2 uh, to 2 minus 1 
equal 1. So the value of L will be 0, 2, 1. 2, 1. 0 and 1. So we have two sublevels. 0 and 1. 0, the shape of 0, S. The shape of 1, P. Look here, P. So we have two sublevels. S and P. 0, 1, S and P. Another example. N n equals 3 I said that the number of sublevels equal to the number of energy level so we have in the third energy level we have three sublevels so what is the value of these three sublevels to get the value we use 0 2 n minus 1 so from a 0 2 3 minus 1 so from a 0 to 2 0 1 2 so what is the shape of three of these three sub levels s 0 s 1 p 2 d for example energy level n equal to can have one of the two shape corresponding to l equal 0 and l equal 1 Depending on its value of L, an orbital is assigned a letter such as S and P sublevel. So, 0 S and uh, uh, 1 P. When the energy level uh, uh, N equals 3, so we have 3 sublevels. We'll have 3 shape of orbital. L, 0, 1, and 2. From 0 to N minus 1. So, from 0 to 2. 0, 1, 2. S, P, D. 3 sublevel. SPD. So, what's the shape of S sub level or spherical? Look here. Or spherical, spherical, this S sub level, spherical, P sub level like a dumbbell shape, D sub, D sub level are complex, F sub level are even more complex. Each atomic orbital is designated dis dis by the principal quantum number followed by letter of the sublevel. One S sublevel is S orbital in the first main energy level. Two P sublevel is the P orbital in the second main energy level. Four F is the uh, is the part of this orbital in the fourth main main energy level. Look, this is an example. If n equal one, so we have one sublevel. So what is the value of this sublevel or angular momentum quantum number L equals 0, uh, zero uh, 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 which is equal to the S sublevel 2, 0 and 1, S and P, 3, 0, 1, 2, from 0 to, to 2, 0, 1, 2, S, P, D, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, S, P, D, F. That's it. Thanks for watching.